Well, hello friends and welcome back. I'm your host, the Dread Pirates, Face Buns, and today we have something new. And this is called Pinteresting, because this is Pinteristingly amazing. Alright, so for those of you that aren't super familiar with Pinterest, I obviously love the place. But, but, this is a video for everyone because this is funny. This is like some meme-worthy content that for some reason is responses. Now you're like, responses on Pinterest? Responses for what? And literally, this is what people respond to the things that I pin. And so in most cases, I'll be able to show you the pin, and then I'll be able to show you ridiculous response. In some cases, that couldn't happen because it, it was older, it was hard to find or whatever. So anyway, let's get into this because this is funny. Okay, so this all started out when I shared this. This, at the time, was technically an Avengers Endgame spoiler. Because it was only like two, two weeks or so after Avengers had come out. And yeah, I wasn't really thinking. And I mean, I don't know. It kind of looked like it was somebody else's tweet and stuff like that. And so I was like, oh, what difference does it make, right? Like. I saw the movie, I know what happens. It didn't matter to me, did not cross my brain. But I really, really upset this girl. And so she responded to my little share accident with this. And this was the first time that I learned that see you in court is a thing on the internet, but also the first time that I learned that putting a blanket over your head is a thing on the internet and that amazed me. Now, now, of course, like I said, that is where this journey started is because I was like, see you in court, playing it over, girl, what? But then I kept looking at the, the tries that people were sending in because when you try something on Pinterest, you try the, the pin and it goes to anybody and everybody that ever pinned it. And so sometimes they're not always responding directly to you. They're just mad. But it's still fun. So this one I couldn't find the meme for, but here's the response. Again, see you in court, where I was like, this is a thing, huh? Like, this is a serious thing. Okay. This one was in response to a shape-shifting Mona Lisa, like a, a progress over time kind of thing. And then at the bottom, it had that Sailor J um, thing where if the men find out that we can shape shift, they're going to tell the church. I did that on a TikTok, right? And it's a Sailor J sound. J sound. She is a fellow YouTuber and she's really cool. You should go check her out if you like makeup and stuff. But this is beside the point. I don't know why this elicited this much of like a an angry response from whoever, but uh, I thought the sound clip was funny. I thought that the thing was funny. And I think it's even funnier that later on, people went on to argue on the same post about the Mona Lisa as to why the Mona Lisa doesn't have eyebrows. And a quick cut in, I don't think the Mona Lisa has eyebrows because whoever it was that painted her, because I totally forgot, but whatever that was, probably had ADHD and was a crazy artist like the rest of us and sat there and painted over and painted over and painted over and painted over to the point where maybe he kicked the bucket and then could no longer paint over and repaint with the eyebrows. Because you know what the hardest thing to get on? Eyebrows. Y'all know it. Anyways, that was, that was a little bit of a tangent, but it, it is my theory. This is just, this is just terrible Photoshop. I have really nothing to say for it, except every once in a while I run across these and I'm just like, wow. Uh, are there was an attempt, I think, is where this belongs. There might have been an attempt here. Maybe. We'll see. All right. All right. Here's a good one for you guys. Okay. So there were talks that Netflix was going to be doing this SpongeBob SquarePants uh, spinoff thing all about Squidward. Anyways, this meme popped up, and I absolutely love Spongebob, but I also love The Office, and Michael Scott is like my spirit animal, so 
yeah, this was totally going to get pinned. <laughs> but, but, okay. The response I got to this was just like the best, y'all. Sorry. Obviously, I'm trying to like keep track of what I'm doing here and coordinate this a little better. And this is going so well. But this is what I got. I hope this is how this looks. Y'all, apparently, I made Squidward very angry, or, uh, but, you know, Squidward, very angry. Don't know what's up with that. I really don't even understand why, like, wouldn't it have been fun? He's an angry squid. Whatever. I don't have time for this. All right, this next one, I want everybody to keep in mind first that I love all generations and that this is not meant to be a dig. Okay, boomers, just chill, because this is totally worth it. It's so good, boomerang, come on, you know this is funny. You know you're chuckling a little bit to yourself, even if you are mad at me. Please don't be mad at me, but like, okay, so I saved this meme, and this has some of the good responses. This is some of the good responses, so here is your first response. Angry, big-headed Dr. Phil, to which I also ask, wasn't Dr. Phil your idol? Why are you making fun of him? What do I know? Anyways, the second response I feel like maybe needs to come with a little bit of an explanation because I do understand that I have a lot of male followers and this may not make sense to you. This is a throwback joke, but the whole throwback doesn't matter. What really matters here is that they're making a joke that now I am not to be trusted and that I am not good girl and ooh, how dare you? <laughs> with the fear of snakes. <laughs> snakes is a whole thing on the internet and girls and it yeah it pretty much just means I don't like you and so this is so funny. But yes this was a response to Boomerang and I was like so not only did you engage in the culture appropriately but you're mad at me? I don't understand. Like I said these are responses. I don't control these. All right, now this one, I was never seriously going to do this, but I do like to encourage people to live dangerously, of course, you know, live your best life kind of thing. And this next person took this advice and is really living their best life. At least I hope so. This bump to you for living your best life. But here's the advice. And here is what they responded. I don't even know. I don't even know how to handle that. I was just like, so did you really do it? Because like, whoo, good for you. I was kind of joking, but you know, I like things that sound obnoxious. That's how we roll. All right, all right. So this, obviously I've kind of been making musical jokes. I love music, I always do this, but anyways. I've made a lot of jokes about this and I posted this one not too long ago, even on my Instagram. But after I posted this to my Instagram and Snapchat stories, I got this response on Pinterest. And so I made somebody very, very angry that Gautier is somebody that I used to know. And I will have you know that still to this day, that is the only song I know by Gautier. I know none of these songs that you posted there. So hashtag sorry not sorry, Gautier is still somebody that I used to know and probably 90% of us. All right, moving along now. <laughs> now that I've made a complete fool of myself twice in one week, right? This one's just funny. Okay, okay. Now, now this gets even funnier because they responded with Jar Jar Binks. To which I'm like, not a bad response. But I'll see you the fact that I love Jar Jar Binks and I have loved Jar Jar Binks since I was a kid and I will live by that forever. I don't care how annoying anybody thinks he is. I don't care what y'all think. Dark Jar Jar should have risen. That's the end of it. Now that I've caused some chaos, let's cause some more chaos. This one is a funny job at HGTV and House Hunters because where do you get these budgets and these jobs and where can I get one? But, but, it was responded with this. And I'm like,
Okay. Now, here's one that my millennial friends will definitely appreciate, understand, any of you internet friends will get. Do you ever wonder what my note of my first do you ever wonder what your most noticeable feature is like? What do people see first when they look at you? I did not notice how bad that grammar was in my head. <laughs> but somebody responded with Shrek. Shrek, I love it, you guys. Okay, okay, this is probably the best one ever. And some people have gotten really, really mad over this one. But here you go. And I mean, it ends happy, you guys. It says update, we got married. So y'all can't be mad. Like, apparently this turned out to be a good thing. But we're gonna blast through some of the answers that I've gotten because, um... Some of these answers be fantastic. And Poppy over there is not happy about, about what he was just read. The last one was, was the best. This was responded to no pin, literally. It just was like... Well, maybe you tried a pin, you tried. And then there's no tried, like, pin, but this. And so I definitely sent this to my best friends because I was like, mm-hmm, this might be true. Good stuff. Don't know where the pin went. And now. And now. <laughs> okay, sorry. This is the best. Okay, it's finally 2020, so we're going to do this. You realize, you're like, oh no. But then you also realize that this is a scene from The Office. And then for some, some reason, somebody put it over Eminem's rap god scene and it's like, I could, I could see this in this bit. I don't know, seems like it would fit. And that really made me giggle. And so finally, we will end on the note of Judy, who apparently needs to get a locking drawer, a locking drawer for her scissors. Do that, Judy, instead of stabbing someone, I promise. It'll save you time, and it'll save you crafts, because you can't do crafts in jail. Peace, love, and happiness, Judy. Right. Space <laughs>